Let's solve one previous question of compiler. This question was asked in gate CS 2024 set 1, question number 29. Consider the following pseudocode. These are the pseudocode. Which one of the following option correctly specify the number of basic blocks and the number of instructions in the largest basic block respectively? And four options are given. Before identifying basic block, first we need to identify the leader then one leader till next leader is one block right so we can identify leader by three way first point is the first statement is a leader then second point is the conditional and unconditional jump target is a leader then next statement of conditional and unconditional jump is a leader so these are the three point by which we can identify the leader so according to point one leader is one next target of conditional and unconditional jump so l3 l4 and l11 3 4 11 are leader as their target next instruction immediately follow the conditional and unconditional jump are leader 10 is a leader then 13 is a leader then 15 is a leader we got seven leaders 1 3 4 10 11 13 15 so seven leader means there will be seven basic block first basic block will contain l1 and l2 that's our b1 next basic block will contain just l3 as 4 is a leader next basic block will contain 4 till 9 as 10 is a leader so next is the largest basic block that contain 4 till 9 that's b3 next is 10 as 11 is a leader then 11 and 12 13 is a leader so next basic block will be 11 12 next 13 14 in one basic block next 15 is another basic block so we have seven basic block and here largest basic block is b3 that contain 1 2 3 4 5 6 instructions check in option option d contains 7 and 6 so seven basic blocks are present and largest basic block contains six instructions answer is option option D 7 and 6 I already discussed how to design flow graph in chapter 3 of compiler design lecture just go through it and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you